Registered Phenomena Code 400 Object Class Beta Orange Hazard Types Sentient Hazard Teleportation Hazard Aggression Hazard Containment Protocols All Site-051 staff are to always be accompanied by one or more personnel while traversing the site to avoid a manifestation of RPC-400. Personnel traversing Site-051 alone are advised to get to their destination in under three minutes to avoid RPC-400 manifestation. All Site-051 personnel must have in-depth knowledge of the locations of Site-051's exits, lounges, cafeteria, and hallways. Personnel being pursued by RPC-400 should find the nearest lounge, exit, or room filled with personnel. Personnel wandering Site-051 alone will be reprimanded. Description: RPC-400 is a humanoid entity measuring 2.12 meters in height. The torso, arms, and legs of RPC-400 show very little muscle mass and are grossly contorted. RPC-400 is devoid of pigmentation, except for the head, which is a pigmentation of dark red. The head of RPC-400 contains no facial features, except for its mouth. The subject's mouth is a large fissure, taking up 50% of the subject's face. Each of RPC-400's teeth measure 19.5 cm in length. RPC-400 will only manifest when any subject, hereby known as RPC-400-A, is alone within a room in Site-051. RPC-400 will manifest in the same room as RPC-400-A and will attempt to consume the RPC-400-A. RPC-400 will move at a constant speed of 43.21 km per hour. RPC-400 will demanifest when another human enters the same room. RPC-400 will demanifest under these conditions. RPC-400-A walks into a room filled with other personnel. RPC-400-A exits Site-051. Personnel walk into a room where RPC-400 is manifested in. Small Orange Fire Large Orange Fire Testing with RPC-400 can be done by leaving one CSD-class subject <clears throat> Testing with RPC-400 can be done by leaving one CSD-class subject in a containment chamber alone. Researchers can view both RPC-400 and RPC-400-A without RPC-400 demanifesting, since both the researchers and RPC-400 and RPC-400-A are in different rooms. RPC-400 will always know the location of RPC-400-A. Orange Fire will not terminate RPC-400, but it will slow the subject down. RPC-400 will manifest if any personnel are alone in a room for more than three minutes. Once RPC-400 demanifests, it will re-manifest itself to the nearest alone personnel. The first recorded manifestation of RPC-400 was on December 31, 1999, by Class B researcher Simon See both Addendum A and Addendum B for more information. Addendum 400-A The following was an interview with researcher Simon and Dr. The interview was done two hours after RPC-400 manifestation. Interviewed Researcher Simon Referred as Simon for brevity Former RPC-400-A instance Interviewer Dr. Begin log Hello, Simon. How are you? I'm f terrified. Simon, this is an official report. I must ask you to refrain from using such vulgar language. Sorry, my apologies. I'm still pretty shocked on the events that have just occurred. About the incident, Simon, can you please describe it for the report? Researcher Simon stretches his arms. I was alone in containment room analyzing samples. Where were your colleagues? Most of them were in the cafeteria celebrating New Year's Eve. The head of the RPC project, Dr. was probably spending time with the family. When did you first notice RPC-400? I turned away from the microscope to get some sprite from the vending machine outside, and that's when I noticed it in the corner. 
researcher Simon becomes notably agitated. The thing started moving toward me at first. It was probably fifty meters away. The thing almost looked like the monster from the thing with its head open revealing its huge, jagged, sharp teeth. I walked slowly towards the door to sound the containment breach alarm. At this point the thing started dashing towards me. I pressed the alarm and dashed through the door. I exited into I exited into the hallway and darted down the corridor. While I was running, I looked back at the entity and realized something. It was fast, and it was gaining on me. I exited the corridor and ducked into the nearby social lounge. I slammed the door of the social lounge behind me and pressed on it so that that thing wouldn't get in. Was the lounge occupied? Yeah, the people inside were terrified. One girl asked me what was going on. I told her about the thing chasing me. She went to the wall-mounted phone and dialed a number into it. I don't know who she called, but we had a local mobile specialized team get down there almost instantaneously. They knocked on the door and told us the coast was clear. What is your proof that there was an entity pursuing you? I told the MST to check the camera footage in both containment room. They believed me when they saw the two meter tall monster materializing in the same room I was in. Excuse me, Doctor, but may I please go? I need to get home. Site 051's containment breach alarm goes off. Yes, I believe this interview is over. We are currently under a site lockdown. Excuse me, but we're going to have to end this right now. I'm going to have to escort the both of you out of the facility. End log. A statement from Site 051 Director. On December 31, 1999, through January 1, 2000, RPC-400 caused 35 fatalities and 7 casualties. It took 24 hours to understand how RPC-400 worked without containing it, and 24 more hours to fully contain it. Now you may be wondering, how can we call RPC-400 contained? Well, it's simple. Let me explain. Twelve years after that incident, it has become a custom for Site-051 personnel to always walk around, work, and sleep together. It's taboo around here to work alone. If everyone is always together, RPC-400 cannot manifest unless in a testing environment. Wandering Site-051 alone will result in punishment, unless it's for RPC-400 testing purposes. Even janitorial staff are ordered to stay together. I say if RPC-400 can only manifest under secure and testing conditions, I'd consider RPC-400 a contained anomaly.